We are Luca and Sara from Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled to Rome to participate in a travel TV show and now we are slowly driving north, back to Lucky Land. Today we will discover together some places of one of the most enchanting regions of Italy, Tuscany. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Good morning beautiful people! Good morning! How are you Luca? I'm super excited, uh, today we will be doing uh, one of the things that I love more. Any guess in the comments guys please? What Luca loves the most? We left Rome this morning, really short, but you know Rome is always uh, a, a surprise, good a good idea, always, every time of the year, even in lockdown, even for a few hours. We had a great time together and now we are in Tuscany. We entered Tuscany. It's another region that we love. There are so many regions that we love in Italy. Yeah, it's amazing. And we still need to explore. We are going direction Saturnia. We are going over there. We are at our favorite spot, hot springs, free hot springs in the middle of Tuscany, close to Saturnia. This place is called Le Cascate del Mulino. When I just can't let go, tears start to flow, I feel it in my body. Girl, I feel this magic. The water is 37, 38 degrees Celsius, really enjoyable. There are some bugs, but it is quite normal where you have hot springs. Beautiful, I love it. Saturnia's thermal bath are the bubbling waters seeping through the earth crust in an area stretching from Mount Amiata to the hills of Valbenga and Fiora, enriching Roselle and Talamone. We are in the Maremma area. The waters are rich in mineral deposits, especially sulfur, which gives it a slightly eggy smell. The thermal waters have therapeutic and relaxing properties. The warm sulfurous waters of Saturnia were well known by first the Etruscans and later the Romans. In fact, they believed them to be a gift from the gods and made good use of waters and its healing powers. Though with the passing of the years, the local superstitions change and they use the waters less and less. This is fantastic! Nowadays you can find a luxurious, exclusive wellness and spa centers in Saturnia, but there are two free outdoor waterfalls, the Cascate del Mulino and the Cascate del Gorrello. Amazing, amazing! Le Cascate del Mulino are probably the most famous natural springs in Tuscany. The waterfalls are made of several natural pools of warm thermal water, as well as a relaxing waterfall. They are open to the public and free throughout the entire year. The landscape in Tuscany is something that you cannot find anywhere in the world, just here. And it's so relaxing and peaceful, it's full of olive trees, wineries, agriturism, farm, country houses. Luca is in with the green screen right now, <laughs> a natural green screen. Of course, we are not on the highway, we are in Maremma. Maremma Toscana. We just stop here on the side of the road because there is a beautiful village that it's called Scansano and it's a village, medieval village clinging to the mountains and when you arrive from the, from the road it's beautiful so now you will see the drone footage and this area is home of the really famous Italian wine Morellino di Scansano. It's a red wine, 
here in the Maremma we have so many different types of wine, so many productions of wine and Moradino di Scansano is one of them. Guys, we need to stop every two seconds because it's amazing. here we have the Argentario and we can spot the sea. Let me show you. Also spot the moon far away. And after an amazing hot tub in the hot springs in um, Saturnia, after a beautiful road in the country south of Tuscany, we are now finally on a beach. We are in Castiglione della Pescaia. And I might say, beautiful beach, beautiful sand, sunset, love it. Check it out. This sunset is for everyone that is missing the sun, is missing the sea, and is missing some fresh air, some freedom. So this is for you. Good morning, beautiful people. We slept in a beautiful place. Okay, two hours later. <laughs> two hours later, but I would like to show you the size of the cedar. Wow. It's bigger than my hand. And there is a lemon plant that I would like to show you. Here are two. These ones are small. That one is the size of these two together. Yeah. Incredible. You can see the view of the sea over there. In Italian, agriturismo means any agriculturally based operation or activity that brings visitors to a farm. And in this case, we have this farm. They produce olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, they produce soap, they produce a tea, they produce a liquor, they produce cream for the body and it's beautiful because they are volunteering for example some plants they are from they are not private property but from the municipality they take care of the plants and with the oil they they, they sell they give this money to really beautiful project this uh, lady Beatrice she bought for example machinery accessories for hospitals for people in need so she will not in this case earn anything but she can do something for the community and this is a huge plant of lemons We 
are more than happy to support projects and realities and small businesses like this one in Italy businesses that are struggling you know tourism is tourism and a lot of activities are badly affected by this pandemic and in our small world we can help a little bit try to at least come here and try to share what they're doing it is inspiring also you know to see other people doing good now we will unload the scooter from Luigi, we will leave Luigi parked here in a safe spot and we will go and explore a really close beach that is called Baratti. Ready? Let's go! Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by considered one of the most beautiful villages in Italy so there is this tag that is called i borghi più belli d'Italia that means the most beautiful villages in Italy and the view is breathtaking from here we can spot uh, the island of Elba, l'isola d'Elba Corsica, Corse that is not Italy, it's France yes, let's see, yeah Capraia and Gorgona, that is that little island. Uh, on Gorgona Island, uh, there is this uh, prison uh, where basically they bring uh, the prisoners uh, who had uh, good behavior. So as a reward, uh, as a gift, uh, they bring uh, there to work and to spend some time. So there are a lot of fields uh, that they are working on these fields, uh, planting uh, rosemary, lavanda, a lot of olive trees. So this is uh, something interesting of this little island where these prisoners can work and uh, can stay with uh, this beautiful view. And uh, I think it's a, a huge reward instead of staying on uh, other prisons uh, in Italy where they are just locked inside. Populonia, an ancient and very important Etruscan city, is one of the 12 centers called Dodecapoli, the city-states that were part of Etruria. Reminders of this glorious past are still visible today in a small and charming center with an elevated position and remarkable ruins. Located on top of a hill surrounded by a crystal clear sea, the ancient settlement is in a dominant position, on one of the promontories that formed the Gulf of Baratti. A lot of history in this place. And in 2019, 17 people, inhabitants, were living in here. In ancient times, it was known as Fufluna or Pupluna and was the only Etruscan city on the coast. The remains of the ancient city are still visible today with Etruscan walls and remains of Roman buildings. The medieval walls are fascinating to see as well as the Rocca, the tower, built in the first half of the 15th century. The archaeological park of Baratti and Populonia is an open-air museum of Etruscan civilizations overlooking the Tyrrhenian Sea. The territory is a huge quantity of relics dating back from the era when Fufluna, Populonia, 
was one of the most important industrial districts of the city for manufacture of iron dating from the 5th century before Christ. The park includes the necropolis of Apollonia, full of interesting and Etruscan tombs, which are still maintained in good condition. A little bit late, it's 3 p.m. We didn't have lunch and the restaurants are closed. Basically, you can find someone that is doing takeaway, but not everyone. And now that it's late, someone is opening later. So we stop at the grocery store to have something to eat and we bought a product that is typical from this area. Sara, do you want a boat? Yes. Yes. <laughs> do you? Do you want to do boat life? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love these trees. We are at Cecina. On the coast. And uh, Ceci means chickpeas. Chickpeas everywhere. So here they produce a lot of chickpeas <laughs> that and are Ceci. And? The Cecina or Farinata? Yes, uh, we, where we live uh, we call it Farinata, here they call it Cecina. And it's a kind of chickpeas flatbread that you can find in the pizzerias or you can find in the panetterias, in the bakeries or in the restaurants. And you can find it here in Tuscany or in Liguria or in Piedmont as well. And it's this chickpeas flatbread made with chickpeas flour extra virgin olive oil, some salt, pepper and if you want rosemary. It's vegan. Mm. It's healthy. It's vegan. It is gluten free. And it's delicious. <laughs> now we stop here because we are going to visit one famous beach in Italy. This beach is famous because of its color. We have this white, super white sandy beach with the color of the water is this, this turquoise. This color is not natural but is there is, I don't know if you can see it from here, I don't know, it's a factory, a really important factory that discharges the limestone, powder limestone into the water. So they say that it's completely they are following the rules everything is okay this is a natural material but it's altering the color of the water so but uh, it's saying that the water uh, the quality of the water is still perfect uh, it doesn't affect uh, the ecosystem uh, and nothing at all it only changes the color of the beach because the sand uh, becomes white uh, yeah so it's not something uh, environmental damaging. But it's strange because you are on the beach now, you will see, and then if you look at, on your right, you will see kind of this Springfield factory. It's famous because here they are filming a lot of advertisements in Italy because it looks like you are in the Caribbean because of the colors. But at the same time, it's weird. Yes. Okay, so, let's uh, go and have a look. Yes. It probably will be windy over there, so yeah. we decided to talk inside the Luigi and then go there and uh, try to show you something. And usually here during the summertime it's packed with people, it's full of people. Hopefully today will be empty so we can show you better. Let's go! Let's go! Wow! Beautiful! Okay. White Sands National Monument. <laughs>
passing by I start to stare What am I doing? I should be standing strongly and firmly Grabbing my chair Tight as I stumble Raving circus Won't you crumble? This wild sea I mean, it's okay for a stop, but it's nothing impressive. We prefer natural wild beaches in the middle of nowhere and not beaches with a fake color with a factory so close. But you know, it's always interesting to stop and to see and to explore and to show the reality. We are driving on the coast, we are on uh, Via Aurelia and it's incredible the Romans build uh, this uh, road uh, it goes from Rome till France in Italy we say tutte le strade portano a Roma all the roads lead to Rome and Via Aurelia is one of these roads true, <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the map Sorry, always with the rail. Yes. <laughs> we already said in other videos uh, that here in Italy we have the rails, uh, the train rails uh, on the coast, uh, and sometimes you are just driving, there are those beautiful views, and then you just have the, the train uh, crossing uh, just between you and the beautiful view. Wait, but, wait, but here now we are. Now we are crossing the rails, so probably we will be on the seaside without the rails. Ristorante Vista Mare. Vista, Ma villas. Vista Mare means uh, on the, with the view of the sea, Vista Mare. Sea view. Sea view. <laughs> wow. It's basically a castle on a beach. Do you imagine? We can send Lucky Land <laughs> and buy a tree here. Yes, maybe a tree. <laughs> This video was recorded one week and a half ago before we received the terrible news that one loved person of our community, of the Van Life community, is not with us anymore and we are talking about Lee. The news was devastating, shocking and really heartbreaking. Lee's family and her partner they set up a GoFundMe, you will find all the details in the description below this video. The money will go to raise awareness 
about mental health and to combat cyberbullying. And about this last point is very, very important for everybody in this world. Before you say something, before you comment, before you judge someone, please think about this twice. Your words and your comments uh, have an impact on people. Everyone uh, is free to say and to comment uh, what they like, uh, but there are many different ways uh, to express it, uh, to say it. Uh, respect people and be kind always. Uh, because everybody is fighting a battle we don't know about it. We love you beautiful people, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and we will see you next week. We love you, ciao!